All right, Aquarius, let is let us see what is going on with Aquarians. All right, so this is for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading. So if this doesn't resonate for your Aquarian sun sign, please look at your moon rising or Venus sign. All right. Um, I will do an extended. In the extended, I will go week by week to give you some insight into how this might unfold week by week. In March, let's see where we go. All right. Ta-da. <laughs> Ta-da. Journey by Moonlight. Believe in magic, valiant courage, take action with passion, fogged in, go slow, take some time. Um, so um, there is a choice ahead of you, kind of a big choice, all right, kind of a big choice, come here you, and uh, it is going to take courage, and I think you should take your time about making this decision. All right. I know I know some of you are going to be very excited about this choice or about this opportunity. Um, it may take a little bit of time for it to gain some steam. So even if you do choose an opportunity that's that's really exciting to you, it may take a little time before it gets rolling. OK, so let's see where we go. But it does. This is going to be a, a, a something that's going to require a little bit of courage to do. OK, this might be something brand new to you. Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the World Underneath, and the Ten of Pentacles. I like that. Um, so you have had uh, a certain level of success, and I do feel like the alignment um, is now shifting. It's shifting into bigger success. What you've had and what you've amassed or what you've been able to do up until now is kind of nothing compared to what's coming. Okay, Ace of Wands, wow. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, oh my goodness. The Fool, the Lovers, the Knight of Wands, Four of Pentacles, wow. Five of Swords and the Six of Swords. Okay, um, could be dealing with a Sag or a Gemini. All right, a Sag or a Gemini. I just feel like the work you've been doing up until now might need to end because it's not, um, well, you're making a pivot is what you're doing. You're making a choice to go towards something that's more passionate for you. And it's possible that you have to rid yourself of some people that they are holding you back, the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. There's a new idea coming in. All right, there's a new idea coming in and that's going to bring about big success. You can't stand you can't stand still. You can't stay doing what you've been doing. 8 of pentacles, 10 of swords. Yeah, star, there you are. That's Aquarius healing energy, 2 of wands. Yeah, ace of pentacles and what's on the bottom here? Queen of swords. Okay, beautiful. Wow. Um don't be afraid to stop doing a thing or don't be afraid to end um your alignment is somewhere else ace of swords ace of pentacles and the ace of wands your alignment is moving forward in a more exciting kind of way or a something that excites you something that really brings you to this place of like wow that looks amazing to me i want to do that i want to go down that road i feel like that's showing up and you have a very clear sense of how to move forward there might be another person involved here. Let's see, lovers and the knight of wands. Death, nine of swords, page of swords, and the magician. Ooh, doggy. Um, Gemini, Scorpio, Sag. Um, I almost feel like you were afraid to cut this person loose because what, what would they do if you cut them loose? There was some kind of fear about this. And I do feel like this person is somebody who is quite shaky. Um, somebody who may be suffering from a lot of um, uh, anxiety or they have a lot of worries. And I saw this in the other two air readings that they're, they were really draining your energy. This person is somebody, four of pentacles, five of swords, really close to the vest but manipulative not good okay 
Yeah. Emperor, Ten of Wands, Nine of Cups. Very self-important. Oh, yeah. This person uh, doesn't, is very selfish, okay? This person doesn't really think of other people. Um, they are somebody who they, you know, they just do what is important to them regardless of how it impacts other people. I do see you moving away from this person. I do think this person's energy in your life is done. And I feel like it's a happy moment to move away from them. Very, very manipulative. Uh, somebody who is um, dominating, p potentially narcissistic. They don't have really much to offer. I think you know that. I do think you know that. And they show off as somebody who's could be very sexy to you or could be very sparkly, like they have a lot going on and look at me, I'm doing cool things and everything. But honestly, it's really just about um, them getting what they want. Okay, I do feel like you're closing out this cycle with this person. This showed up in the other two air readings too. Scorpio, Gemini, Sag, Aries, Leo. Um, you know, you may, you may still, I think in the other two readings, it was about somebody from the past. For you, Aquarius, I feel like this is somebody who you've known from the past many years, maybe. And um, they are showing up as a very draining vampire energy. I feel like in some weird way, it's impacting your work or your ability to make money. If you've gotten laid off or you're getting laid off or something like that, or you're having this, you know, it's time to finish a certain kind of work. Uh, I don't feel that you'll be impacted by that for too, too long. I think there's new ideas coming in, new excitement coming in, new beginnings coming in, and you really will see that. So if anything ends right now, just let it, okay? Just let it end. And I also feel like, um, you know, if you have been doing something that kind of grinds to a halt, right? It's kind of grinding to a halt here. Uh, I think you just need to remember what makes you happy. What mem Remember what brings you joy. I think you're holding on to small potatoes, very small potatoes. <laughs> and is there a person around you that is really channeling this energy of lack? It's pretty loud. All right. It's pretty loud. Um, the new ideas, ace of swords, ace of wands, ace of pentacles, Queen of Wands, it's your passion. Wow, brings in a lot of money, King of Pentacles. You can help other people with this. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. This is gonna be your work moving forward. So it's going to be financially stable for you and it's also going to be something that you can, um, something that will help other people, possibly a healing uh, profession or a healing kind of work. You might be changing the kind of work you're doing uh, and moving towards something that is more helpful to people than what you've been doing up until now. It's like another level, all right? It's going to take some courage to go toward this. And I do think it's possible that it might take a little time um, to get this rolling, all right? To get the new thing rolling. Oh, chariot. Look at that. Chariot, seven of wands, tower. And the King of Cups. Okay, I just feel like you've been blocking this. You've been blocking making this decision. The universe is making it for you, okay? Because you're supposed to go in this direction that's much more open to what spirit is guiding you to do. Instead of head down in something, four of pentacles, eight of pentacles, it's kind of small potatoes. I don't mean that the universe is saying, hey, make more money. I feel like what the universe is saying to you is, listen, you're resisting. It's almost like you're driving with a parking brake on and that's going to create this tower, um, and then I feel like you get the choice to make something good or real for yourself. The thing you were doing was something that you thought was looked good to other people or seemed good, or I'm using air quotes, something like that, but it really was grinding you to a halt. There wasn't much coming in and you were having to outlay a lot of energy. Now it's like shifting you into something that's more about flow. Okay. It's going to be about flow. And the reason it's taking a little time to get this going is that there are people around who don't believe in you or don't believe in it or don't think it is the right direction to go, mostly because they have this sense of what they want. And I think they want, they see this as a big risk. 
Okay. They see your change and your movement as a big risk. Um, and they would just prefer you did something a little bit safer. All right. Something that wasn't quite such a big risk, but I feel like if you don't go for the big risk here, um, then we've got some tower moments we've got some, um, you're kind of staying in that energy of lack. So we definitely want to move on. We definitely want to move on from that. No more lack mentality. Okay. No more lack mentality. The fool. <laughs> Four of wands, six of cups, two of cups, wheel of fortune. All right. This person, there's somebody good coming in, somebody new coming in. Yeah. Ten of cups, the seven and the three of cups, ten of cups. Um, I feel like you're taking a risk taking a couple of risks, risks with your work and risks with your emotions, uh, with a relationship to bring it to the next level in your existing relationship. It could require you to choose, um, a bigger goal or do something together, build something together, grow something together. There's something here about together. And in order to do that, you have to get the lack mentality away from you. So this person, or there's, you know, some person with lack mentality or somebody domineering or whatever could be in the long past. It doesn't have to be happening right now, but boy, has it stuck with you. That energy has just stuck with you for a long time. So it's time to get rid of that energy and move on. All right. So let's see where we go. I like this very much. This does feel to me like the universe is beckoning you, um, down the road of something very successful and powerful and healing and very similar to the other two air sign readings i guess it's no surprise uh because i am seeing gemini here um and i see you aquarius i'm not seeing libra but i am seeing gemini all right so let's see where we're going with this um i like this love interjection here where it could be part of your work but it doesn't have to be it could be a separate storyline okay so i will do week to week and we'll see where we go for march for you, Aquarius, link is below if you want to continue on. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.